Hi everyone, Sandy here. Welcome to my channel. Hi guys, how are you today? Hope all is well. Well, I'm going to be doing a makeover for my friend's birthday today. Uh, a little treat for her. So, um, yeah, um, so look, look at, hope you enjoy doing the makeover for a mature skin. And, um, yeah, you know, she wants to have it bright because she's going to have a lot of photographs taken after. So watch this space, right? Next time you see me, I'll be doing a makeover. Well, guys, uh, this is my lovely client, Audrea. Is going to be having her birthday soon, very soon. Oh, yes. Right? <laughs> yeah, so she wants to have a, a nice little makeover as a treat. Okay, so uh, let's start. Right, she just moisturise her face. Mm -hmm. Okay, hold on. And I put my hand sanitizer on again. Mm -hmm. I know. I've already done it, but I'll put a bit more. You're okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. What we've got in here, hmm. that mascara, me, another foundation there as well. Uh, okay, and another foundation. All right, so I'm gonna put primer on first. Yeah, which is that foundation as well, cream to powder. Let me see it not open. Another one. Okay. So mm -hmm. quite a few yeah. different ones. Right, I'm just going to go in with a little bit of a primer first so that makes sure that she doesn't shine too much. So, oh, Jaya, mm. what's the purpose of the makeover today? I'm going to have a very, very special picture taken. Ooh. For my birthday that I wanted to do for ages, so it's a bit like a jigsaw coming together today. Yeah. Mm, very excited. Yeah, and of course with um, photographic makeup, if you're going to have photographs, um, it needs to be a, a lot more heavier than usual, right? So you might see the end results as looking a bit heavy, but she's going to have to have photos with it as well. All right, so that's the primer. That helps to keep the makeup on all day. Um, and I'll get back to you a bit, a bit later. Okay, guys, so I'm just doing um, Audrea's eyes. And she, she wanted purple and gold. And um, just to show that when you're doing um, eyes, especially on a more mature client, right? If you don't mind me saying mature. I'm going to be 60. Oh, there you go, there you go. You know, you have to give thanks and praise to even reaching that. Exactly. Yeah, but when you're doing uh, more mature eyes, even myself, you have to literally lift the eyelid so that you get all the creases out to get the colours in. Otherwise, you'll um, put the makeup on and you'll find that as the jade draws the um, creases, the makeup starts gathering up in the crease. Right, and what I actually put on, if you can see that light cream colour, is actually an eyeshadow base. And that helps to enhance the colour and make the colour look more brighter when you put it on. So that's where the purple's going to go. And then I'll um, put some, some gold on the inside there. Right, just to, okay. Okay. All right, so what I'm going to do is put a little bit of um, purple glitter. If you just turn your face this way, all right? Because as you can see here, it looks a lot more brighter than this one. So what I've got is a little bit of purple glitter on there. And I'll just literally... Press it in. Just to brighten up that area there. Right. Okay, right, so after the purple that's in Alger's eyes, right, if I just come a little bit closer to show you, close your eyes closed. What I'm going to do in the inside corners is put a little bit of gold, 
Right. So go. 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 You got the power to go. You're indestructible. Always believing. You are go. <laughs> okay, so now I've added the gold into Aldrea's eyes. Um, I'm just highlighting under the brows a bit more. What I've done is used a Yves Saint Laurent Touche Clat number three and um, although it's very light the whole idea is to blend the secret is in the blending when it comes to makeup not just plonking it on it's getting the colours and blending them really well so even when you've got the two colours here in fact I've got four colours here because it's two purples and two gold uh, you make sure you blend the middle in as much as possible so that when you overlap it it doesn't have too you know a deep line in the middle and then you just blend that highlighter in the highlighter under the brow emphasize the lift in the brow and makes it look like the eyes have got more room uh, some people got small eyes and some people got a lot of room in the eyes like myself I've got like a high, a high bit. So even if I put highlight on with mine, right, I mean, Audrey's is up much smaller, right? So this highlight under the eyebrows gives her more lift and emphasise the shape of the eyebrows. Okay. okay nearly done uh just finish the eyebrows and then just setting the lips the best way to set your lips so that it lasts as long as possible is to actually put the foundation over and the powder and just give you a natural base and then what you do is you just um outline the lips should you want to all right so i'm just gonna outline in brown I think it's strange that sometimes, sometimes when I do makeup and you're doing your lips, people always tend to lick the lips before the person starts to do the, the lipstick. Um, but then it just wet up the lips. <laughs> so it's always best to actually leave them dry. All right, so I'm going to use these two colours because Madam wants purple. And right. gold. Yeah, she wants purple. Let me get my lip brush. Let's go lip brush. Okay, I can work from this side actually. Um, let me see. Artist and a palette, a blend, and then because um, you've got two different color purples, I'm going to try and blend them together. I'm going to start with the light, purpley pink one first, and then go over in a darker one. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, it's quite nice actually. Right, so our sister Queen wants to have an African look. Okay, what do you think, eh? Hey? Doing a good job or am I doing a good job? Really? <laughs> Love it. Okay, right. This is the task of getting it exactly the same. Can't believe this woman is supposed to be nearly 60. Look at her skin, beautiful, fresh. No wrinkles. Beautiful. Pleasure to work on this skin. Pleasure. Let me have a look at the picture again. Hmm. Okay, yeah. Because she's got more darks. Probably because your face, you've got a smaller eyebrow. Mm. Yes, it, it is. But yeah, you know what? Closer. That is absolutely stunning. Yeah, yeah. Love I it. That's the best I can do. One of the things, the one on the lips, looks like it's blending in with the lipstick. That's it. Stunning. Right? Mmm, beautiful. Voila! So, that's my job done for today. Hope you liked it, hope you enjoyed it. Right? What do you think, OJ? I absolutely love, 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 love it. Right? Well, I look forward to having those pictures. Oh, yes. Okay. Thank you. Right. Job done. Our Audrea is very happy. The work. Um, I just thought I'll share a couple of the things that I used um, on her. Her base, her foundation and powder was literally... Um, the model's own, um, Audrey's own. I mixed it with a little bit of um, warm caramel. Her base was mixed with a little bit of warm caramel, fashion fair warm caram car caramel. Oh, get my teeth in. Um, this was the highlighter that I used on her, under her eyebrows, which is 
the East Saint Laurent Touche Clat, right? And it's number three. The number's gone off the bottom, but it's a number three. It's one of these, okay? And um, I use that under the eyebrows. The blusher I used, um, I think it was, it's a Japanese make, but all the inscriptions rubbed off, but it is a mahogany color. I like the blusher that I used on her cheeks very lightly because she doesn't really like to have, you know, that blush look. Uh, again, the eye colors were um, fashion fair. Again, um, this one was the purple color is bold. Okay. And the gold color was citrine. Okay, um, basically these two colors. That was the gold color and the bold. Is that purple? But what I did is I used a Barry M um, eyeshadow pots on top of that to emphasize the um how the no it wasn't Barry M it was that that one was Barry M and this one was um M U A Makeup Academy and this color was um, pearl. It's called pearl, but it looks gold. Okay. That was used on top of the gold, um, just to give it a bit more glitter. And this was the Barry M Glitter Pot. They have them in various, various colours. Um, and of course, it's very, very glittery. So you have to be very careful. What I do is I take my brush and I dip in and I use it from the lid. Makes it a lot easier. Um, so that was literally the eyes. Um, the eyebrows, I used a, um, my brows, beautiful eyes, per perfect brow kit. And that has the brow colors there and I just used the black. I used a little bit of the, the brown um, to outline first and then I went in with the black and on that, this one comes with its own brushes and stuff as well. So I used that on the brows. Um, mascara, I just used this one, Great Lash, uh, a Maybelline, Maybelline colour, right. Nothing special really because she doesn't want nothing to. She didn't want false eyelashes, she doesn't wear them. Um, so really it was quite a nat it was natural makeup, but as you could see, you could see the, the gold and you can see purple, which is what she wanted because those are the colours she's going to be wearing. And then she changed her clothes for her um photograph um a photographic um appointment. Right. So I'm looking forward to those colours and um being shown onto the photographs hopefully it comes out really nice and hopefully she doesn't start licking her lips with the um, painting oh the painting I just used it's literally um a let me just get that one good it's literally a yazoo is it yazoo kazoo it's paints that you use for children's face painting um there it is Right, you use these snazaroo, snazaroo, it's snazaroo. So I've got like, I've got black, I've got white, and I've got orange in that snazaroo. It's for, it's actually just um, watercolour paints, it's paint. Um, and obviously you use it raw, so you get the true colour. And uh, those, it comes, comes with a brush. Snazaroo. And all I did is just do the dots and stuff with that. So thank you for watching. As always, it's always love, peace. It's always love from the heart. Peace as always.
and blessings. Ashe, Ashe. Thank you so much for watching. Bye for now.